everyone, welcome back to another The Morris Plays Let's Play of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And we are kind of just out in the middle of nowhere on episode 15, I believe, which is absolutely crazy. Um, it, it, depending on how you look at it, we're doing quite well. We are kind of sticking to the story mode, I believe. Uh, but we are also just taking our time and enjoying pretty much just enjoying the entire area and what the game has to offer. Um, we got our horse up to here on our way back to Kakariko Village, which is over that way somewhere, I believe. Um, we're following the pulsating dot on the mini-map there, um, but I do believe we're going to have to head around and work our way back up. I don't know if it'd be worth our while going through the mountains, so uh, we could teleport, but that's kind of... I, I, I feel like it's better to explore, so... Oh, he chased! I can't believe it! But we got some raw meat, that's okay. But yes, we have a horse here, which we managed to tame one of the horses. Um, but we can't get them down the cliff, so I think we're going to have to kind of jump down and paraglide down and make our way across. Uh, maybe... I guess we should just go for it and see what we can find. We have got our sensor on for our shrine, our shrine locator, but it doesn't seem to be going off at the moment so oh the skies are clearing yay okay it just seems to be raining all the time so we need to anytime it's clear we need to take it while we can get it okay so i guess we should just uh just go for it Let's see if we can see anything over here we haven't actually explored this area yet um oh let's see just put that there. We haven't got a hammer anymore, unfortunately. Uh, but we still need to get pretty much all the resources we can find. Uh, oh. Interesting. How many rupees have we got? Does it tell us anywhere? Oh, we've got 1,200. So we need to get as many rupees as possible as well for when we get to Kakariko Village so we can buy the cool stealth outfit when we get back there. Oh, no! Our resources! Uh, we also could do with finding another hammer, because ours did break. Um, but yeah, we're just going to slowly make our way back to Kakariko Village. See what we can find. See if we can find a shrine along the way, maybe. Um, pick some resources. Do some foraging. Maybe find a coric or two. Although we had a pretty good uh, day yesterday. What's that over there? Hmm, interesting. Yeah, we managed to find like five Koriks, I, I believe. Hmm. It's starting to rain again. Uh, yes, an iron sledgehammer! What about luck? That's so good. I can't believe we've, we have a sledgehammer again. Although I can't imagine paragliding with a sledgehammer is very good, to be honest. Oh, what's that? I feel like, do we go down and investigate? Can we even get through? Let's, uh, let's see what we can find over here. Oh, there's a traveller or someone keeping an eye on the gate. Okay. What do we do with this? Um, let's see here. Maybe we could use our coric leaf? Something. What is it? I don't. I think. Are we supposed to get it to spin the other way, or doesn't appear to be working? Okay. 
Okay. Uh, and someone said a good trick about using Magnesis to find out which of these guardians would come to life, I believe. Oh, look! Lots of travelers. Let's go and let's do some talking. Hey. Yeah. Uh, hiya, my name's Garil. Come to see uh, Fort Hateno, I take it. That's right, I guess. Figured as much. It's well worth seeing. Fort Hateno ha uh, here was the last line of defense between Hateno Village and the awful tragedy all those years ago. Everyone's got to come and pay their respects at least once in their life, right? Sure. Found a frog. Some travelers. Mm. I don't know. I'm just so tired of this color. Maybe I'll visit the dye shop in Hateno Village to refresh my look. Oh, okay. Aww. I grow vegetables in Hateno Village, sell them at Dueling Peak Stable. Then I use the money to buy meat and head back. So I guess my job is to make sure folks in Hateno Village have full bellies. By the by, how's your belly? Uh, I'd love it if you bought something, but I mean, I'm happy to just show you what I've got for sale. The rest is up to you. Okay, well, we can sell a few things. Uh, no, we don't want to sell that. Sorry. Um, we do have some amber to sell, though. Somewhere. Sell all of them. 450 rupees. We just need to take as many rupees as we can get at the moment, really. Um, thanks. Anything else I can do for you? Yeah, we can. Can we have a look at what what you've got to sell? Ah. Take your time looking around. Being in a hurry never did any, <laughs> never did any good for anyone. Oh, okay. We've seen a few of these things before, um, and we've got all of them in our inventory actually. So we probably don't need to buy anything just yet. We are overdue doing some cooking, though. Ah. And there was a recipe that we needed to do in Kakariko Village. So we'll probably do some cooking when we get back to the village. Oh. Oh no! Uh, we may have made a mistake. Oh dear! Okay, whoo! For a second there, I was, uh, I was kind of regretting doing that. Oh, there's a, there's a uh, building here! Yeah, I want to change what bow and arrow we've got equipped as well. There we go. I don't like the zoomed in bow and arrow. It's too zoomed in. <laughs> um. Wow, they're hard. They're hard to. Ev I don't think you can evade the bees' attacks. Um, it's quite hard to. Oh, all the fireflies have come out. Look at them all. They're so hard to collect. I don't know what's best: sneaking up on them or um, trying to run through and just grab them while you're running. Hey, you knew. Hey, my name's Telly. I'm a bit of a treasure hunter, if you get my drift. Uh, it's just a short hike west from here to Fort Hanteno. Let's see, what can I tell you about that place? Hmm, hmm. Uh, nothing really comes to mind. Hey, question for you. Do you have any interest in guardian remains? Um, what have you got? What catches your eye? Ancient screw, ancient spring, ancient gear. We've got, we've got... We've got all of these things, so maybe not, but at least we know we can come and buy some if we need it. Oh. For now, farewell. Farewell, my fellow traveller. Okay, see how close we can get to this. 
Oh, there we go. So it is worth just sneaking up on the fireflies, I think. We'll just check out this uh, this um, building, and then we'll head. We'll, we'll get on our journey back to Kakariko Village because we are getting a bit sidetracked here. Um, oh, oh, there is someone in here. Hey, Caleb. Mm. When a dark light resides in the cursed statue's eyes, pierce its gaze to purge the seal from the shrine. Okay, when the dark light resides in the cursed statue's eyes, pierce its gaze to purge the seal from the shrine. So, when we meet something with dark light in its eyes, we have to hit its eyes, I guess. <laughs> I'm not wrong, am I? It must be around there. What, what are you up to? Huh? Let me guess. You caught wind of the great Dr. Callip's groundbreaking research and just had to meet him for yourself, huh? No? Don't tell me you've never even heard of me after I've dedicated my life to researching the ancient shrines. Hmm, well, you'd better remember my name, for it's not the last you'll hear of it. Ooh, sounds like a threat. <laughs> And while I'm at it, it's Dr. Callip, if you please. I don't study my rear end off to be called Mr. Callip. Okay. Everyone's forgot I'm a doctor for some reason. Mm. And since you ask, I'll inform you that I'm engaged in analyzing ancient text. Um, I haven't time for idle chit-chat. Ancient text. Ah. Soon, my long years of research will be revealed and all the world will hail in uh, uh, it's at the discovery of the century to prevent any undue attention i haven't even told my family about my work you understand i'm sure of course mr i mean dr Callie. <laughs> doctor Whoa. did i did, just hear me call doc call me doctor as in not merely Callip, but dr Callip. it rolled off your tongue so naturally even though we were messing about <laughs> Um, this changes things. Oh. Very well then, I'm feeling charitable, so I'll let a few things spill. Here we go. <laughs> this is just between us, understood. When the dark light resides in the cursed statue's eyes, pierce its gaze to purge the seal from the shrine. Mm -hmm. I'm still in the process of deciphering that one, so I don't suppose there's any harm in sharing it with you. That's my life in a nutshell. Days filled with researching shrines and nights spent studying ancient texts. Uh, that leaves no time to converse with passing strangers, so farewell. Oh, okay. Oh, we've got a, a cursed statue side quest. Okay, do, do we, can we read the book? Examine. There's a worn-looking book here. Would you like to read it? Yes. Oh, well, that's just what we've already read. Okay. Nothing else in here, I see. Any secrets? Nope. Okay, so I don't think there's going to be anything else around here, really. So we may as well head back towards Kakariko Village, which is where we're supposed to be going anyway. We can never turn down some uh, resources. We are totally going the wrong way. Okay, let's uh, let's see if we can get to the other side of this. We might be able to call our horse again and get to Kakariko Village pretty quickly, maybe. I don't know how close we have to be. Nope. Oh, wild rupee. Do we have to check every single statue? I mean, how many of these ancient things do we need? Look at this could take a week. To find all these. Hup. Hup. 
I've also got some Zelda amiibo, um, so I don't know whether to use them. Because I think we can use them and get like a bunch of resources and weapons. But then again, that kind of defeats the point. Um, I feel like if we get stuck, we could use them. I think it's limited to once per day anyway. Uh-oh. Take your spear, thank you. Shame we can't get our arrows back. Okay, starting to get quite dark and windy. So I imagine we're going to see our fair share of enemies as we come through here. Oh, there's some more horses. do we have to be? I swear our horse is like right over there. Maybe we could just try and get a new horse. <laughs> Yay! Oh that was easy. Okay let's uh let's see if we can get some gain some speed and get up to uh, Kakariko village. Going this way. It's, it seems strange coming at it from a different side. That's where we need to go, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, we're just going to use the. Uh, Horse, I think, just to see if we can get there a bit faster. The horses are really hard to control. Yeah, you're doing really well, horsey. Okay, it's definitely quicker than by foot. Sometimes the horse doesn't want to uh doesn't, doesn't want to walk though. Okay, I wonder if we should stop and get some I see lots of things sparkling. Definitely should get them while we see them. You never know when we're going to need them, is the thing. Um. Okay, let's go, horsey. This is definitely more fun than just teleporting, anyway. This might be a little bit of a slow episode. <laughs> but then, I guess that's part of the fun. We're basically yeah. heading up to Kakariko Village because we want to yeah. see oh, Impa oh. again. Oh, uh, oh there's a Korok. Hey! <laughs> Got the frog. Okay, can we do anything with these um, mini waterfalls? No. Okay, 
Okay, we're just gonna make our way into the village. Oops. <laughs> okay, we made it. That was a lot quicker. I thought it was gonna take ages to get here, but we made it thanks to our horse. I wonder where we can put our horse. Um, maybe you lot can look after the horse. Okay, I think before we do anything else, we should head back and see Impa. if we did this yet or not but we have to place another apple here don't we uh, we forgot to do it when we were here I believe so if we just hold that yay so at least we found one coric if nothing else we found a coric <laughs> yay you found me a small seed was given to you by a coric bye bye I wish they had more to say. <laughs> they don't mind us. Hey. Hmm. I heard Pura was giving you the runaround. Yep. Uh, but you seem just fine. Yay, we completed it. So we have to come all the way back here just to complete that. That's crazy. Now then, let me see. Oh, these are all the photos that Zelda took. Aha, this is without a doubt the camera that Princess Zelda used 100 years ago. Okay. It could be that if you visit the locations within those pictures, you will be able to restore some of your lost memories. Come back here once you have tried going to at least one of those locations. Oh. This is something I wish to give you. Okay. Mm -hmm. You may not remember your last meeting with Ganon, but it did not end well for you. If you want a different outcome this time around, you'll need to be properly equipped. Okay. My memories? Princess Zelda's memories are your memories as well. Yeah. These are the locations... Uh, chronicled by the camera and you may be able to recover bits of your memory if you manage to visit even one of these locations come back and see me after all there is still something i wish to give you okay oh so we have to we can't get it until we've visited the place all i can do is tell you what took place and and so i shall i will tell you all that i know i won't fail oh. princess zelda is fighting calamity ganon all alone you're the only one who can save her. The only one who can save Hyrule. Now go. You must. That's the only downside to us spending our time foraging and uh, just picking up resources and wasting lots of time. Is We're just kind of leaving it all to Princess Zelda. Um, so I believe there's a recipe in here we need to um, read. Something about... Not that one. Something about a recipe. Oh, I, I, I can't seem to find it. <laughs> Oh well. We'll be back. <laughs> okay, I want do, do we give can we give them fireflies? This this person is the person that was uh, complaining about fireflies, I believe. We're open every day, enchanted right this way. Oh, okay. So hopefully we've got enough to buy these stealthy stuff. This is so cool! We're not gonna have enough. Oh, we might have enough. Oh, it's going to be close. Okay, um, let's see here. Ah. Oh, that will cost 600 rupees. What a steal. Okay, we're definitely taking those. Um, see, it's gone. Is it gone down five to two? Or has it gone up from five, two to five? I don't know. We're going to buy them anyway because ah. they're just cool. And we definitely want to increase our stealth. And we haven't got enough, no! 
Okay, what can we sell? Can we sell some things to you? Everything here is part of the specially curated Clary co uh, collection. Please take your time looking around. I want to sell. What would you like to sell? Everything. We need two. What was it? Two hundred. Um. Oh, the luminous stone is quite expensive. Um. Let's see. Oh wow, sapphire. There we go. And just for good measure, we probably should. Let's see, what have we got? I don't think any of that stuff is going to be worth selling. Maybe we could just sell some of these jellies just to get us over 700. And how many, how many do we need to sell? Six, that should do. There we go. I can't remember if it was 600 or 700, but that should be enough to buy the the last one. Do you need anything else? Uh, bye. There we go. Oh, 500. Oh, so we did have enough. <laughs> uh, thanks. Be sure to stock up for you. Thank you. I think we pretty much bought everything we need to. Are they, wait, are these new? No, they're... Yeah, they're the ones that we have already got on, aren't they? So let's have a look at our clothes. Okay, so the hot. Um, oh, so they ha they are going down. So what? Hmm. That's so strange. But is it worth having? Oh, so that the ones we're wearing increases our defense. Maybe we could just swap out the trousers. Let's try that. Let's see if the trousers help with sneaking at all. I don't want to lose the defense. I forgot that our clothes had the defensive thing. Let's just try... Actually, we'll just try the sneaking stuff first. Um, we may as well. There we go. That looks so cool. We look so, so cool. Okay, can we take a selfie, actually? Uh, let's see. Um, how do we take a selfie? <laughs> um. Oh, it highlights the stuff that we've got. That's so cool! I'm not sure what the purpose of um, doing those is, though. <laughs> oh, it's you! Great timing! I have some news! I did more research regarding the Great Fairy Fountain, and I have a lead. Mm. However, although I know uh, of the spot where it's likely located, it's really hard to get there. I'm not sure I can do it. Sigh. Even if it's just a picture, I'm dying to see it. I'll help you out. Mm. Oh, I knew it! I just knew there would be someone like me nearby who appreciate true beauty. Sadly, I cannot pin down the exact location of the Great Fairy Fountain. Oh. I haven't put all it all together yet, but there's a suspicious place I have my eye on. In fact, I was about to head there now. Would you like to come along? Sounds great. Oh. Just answer, uh, great answer. Just what I expected from a fellow beauty connoisseur like you. <laughs> all right, then follow me. Okay. Okay, are you are you literally leading us to the Great Fairy? Hi. Hi. Someone's chasing us. <laughs> Where, we, have we literally got to follow you? I wish we could do shrines again. Um, well, I mean, to get the uh, the orb again. <laughs> I win. I cross the finish line. There it is. Through there somewhere. Where did you go? Oh, we lost him! Uh, 
Oh no, where did he go? Oh, there he is. So tired. Heels aren't easy for old fogies like me. Uh, sorry, but I don't think I can go on. Uh, the Great Fairy Fountain should be along the path that leads past the shrine. That's what I've been told anyway. Yes, I've completely out of breath. That always happens right about here. Pant, I think I'd better rest for a bit. You go on ahead. And hey, if you find it, don't forget to get a picture. I hope we can get some more fairies. Because uh, we've used them all. There we go. Oh, I think we needed rupees last time, didn't we? Oh, there's a fairy! Oh, where did the fairies go? A carrot! A wild carrot. There were some fairies here, but they flew away. No! Ah, uh, woo! Welcome back, boy! Uh, do you want me to enhance your clothing? Uh, with the power available to me, I should be able to enhance your clothing a little. Enhance away? I forgot we've got new clothing, haven't we? I think I can enhance the stealth ties. Oh! That's why the other ones are so high. I totally forgot we did this. Yay! So that's why the Hyrulean get-up is higher than the stealth ones. That makes sense. A bit stronger now. You heard about the uh, set bonus, right? Yeah, we've got a, a bonus, or oh, we've got a set on, so. Yes, yeah, so enhance away. We want to do the rest of them. Ah. Mm. <sighs> Thank you, giant, giant fairy. Ma? We might as well do <laughs> the last ah. ones. Uh, yeah, this is a bit of a slow episode. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. Um, but I feel like we, we, we're just kind of <gasps> doing a bunch of little side quests at the moment. Which there are a lot of, by the way, <laughs> if you haven't guessed already. I mean, those who have played it know there's just hundreds of side quests. Uh, please come back here once you get some clothes or materials or once you've restored the power of my sisters. See you later. Oh, yes. <laughs> I was really hoping there was going to be a fairy. I mean, do we have to get a picture of the actual fairy? Or... Okay, so there's not going to be any other fair. We didn't get a chance to catch any fairies. I wonder if it's a nighttime thing. That's a shame. Okay, let's go back and talk to. Where is he? The person over here. Uh, the secret place veiled in mystery, the great fairy fountain. Neither snow nor rain nor heat nor lightning strikes stay me from uh, stays me from swift completion of this self-appointed task. Oh, I found it! Oh, you, you found it, really? Are you serious right now? Uh, and if you are, 
Then where's the picture? You remember to bring the picture, right? Oh, it did register it as the Great Fairy Fountain. This, this is the Great Fairy Fountain. It's certainly beautiful, but I thought it would be more sacred and elegant. <laughs> well, I'm impressed you found it. I want to give you something uh, to show my appreciation, but I don't think I have anything on me. I know. There's a place I've been, you've been seeking. I've traveled all over Hyrule, so I might be able to help you find it. Recognize anything? Oh, so we have to do this anyway. A large gate with a snowy mountain beyond it. Oh, I know that place. There's a big mountain east of this village. Um, it's called Mount Lanaru. At the base of Mount L uh, Lanaru, on the west side of the Nardra snowfield, lies the gate. I'm almost certain. Okay, east side of the village. Okay. I'm glad I knew about that location. I am suppose my help was useful then. Oh, okay. So we found the fairy fountain, so... It's... I was really hoping to get some... Fairies before we left. Okay, so let's have a look at the maps. We want to go east, so I'm guessing the gate is going to be... Okay, so that's the that must be the mountains. The gate must be here somewhere. I'm guessing. Oh wait, there's a west, a west gate, so maybe it's that. So let's head. Yep, yeah, let's head down this path, I guess. We'll have to try and come back later to see if we can get some fairies. Lots of resources to pick. There's always resources to pick. Whoa. That was, that was tough. All that for a piece of meat? Oh, prime meat. I suppose that's a little better. And we got one arrow back, so. <laughs> okay, are we heading down the right path? I don't know. Um, no, that's not what we're going to do, is it? I feel like this isn't the way that we should be going. Um... random flower oh there's the gate we made it let's go and get this uh Korok first hopefully that person doesn't leave so we can still talk to them oh oh are you kidding me Where did you go? <laughs> oh, sneaky flower. Oh, we can't climb this wall in the rain. Okay, we need to get our breath back. Um, hopefully this doesn't reset. <laughs> I wonder if we, no. I was gonna say if we made like five steps and then stopped, and then took another. No. We definitely just have to wait for the rain to. Oh my goodness! Wow. Okay, we're gonna have to come back when the rain stops. Hey, 
Oh. Traveller, I can tell you trained your body well. I say, you're familiar with both sword and bow, correct? That's good skill set. Why don't you join the Yiger clan? Yiger clan? Oh. What? You don't know? Fine, I'll tell you. The Yiger clan, it's <laughs> a powerful, brave group of warriors founded by Master Koga and dedicated to defeating a hero. Uh, thought long dead. What? Oh. I will take your life. What is happening? Okay, what on earth? Oh, what? They stole my thing! Oh, no, they didn't. I thought they stole the boomerang. Bananas! <laughs> Mighty bananas! And lots of rupees. Whoa! Okay, where did our... We threw our boomerang somewhere. <laughs> oh, we can't pick up any more melee weapons. Um, okay, so maybe we will ditch one of these. That's some good throwing. Okay, it stopped raining now, so we probably can go back and get the Korok. Little did they know I was the hero. Long presumed dead. <laughs> Okay, I wonder how high up this Korok is going to take us. Hopefully not too high. Um, I wonder if, is there going to be a suit or some, an outfit for stamina as well? So we've, we've got the one for defense, we've got the one for stealth. There must be ones for attack and stamina. Hey! Ah, you found me! A small seed was given to you by a Korok. We've got 15 now. Bye-bye. Thank you. What else is up here? Okay, doesn't appear to be much up here. I'm really impatient when it <laughs> when it comes to climbing. Oh, <gasps> finally three more trees. This is another Korok, isn't it? <laughs> There's more over there. I think those are the ones we tried before and did it wrong. So let's try again. Okay, something about matching up the apples, so this one has one on, this one has one on, this one has several on, um, so if we take those two, and take this one, we can reach it, does that not match them up? Difficult to see. Um, oh, there's another one up there. Yay, we did. Oh, look at the arrow was through the apple. That's so cool. You found me. Okay, we're getting Korok seeds like quite regularly now. Okay, what happened to our apple with the arrow through it? Okay, we're going out of our way again, so I believe the gate is over there where we need to go. That's the cold mountain. Um, uh, let's see, what? <gasps> A mysterious rock! There's no way we're going to be able to get up there, is there? Wow, how mysterious! Why did they put that up there? There's not going to be a quick way up, is there? I 
I don't think I have any stamina food either. I don't know. It could be close. Oh, and it would start raining, wouldn't it? It just wasn't meant to be. Okay, so at least we found the gate. Um, but something tells me we're going to need some cold resistant things. And I'm sure, I'm sure there was a, a side quest we had to do in Kakariko Village to get a... Something that gives us cold resistance, so... I think we should head back there and explore that a bit more. Because um, now we know where the gate is, we can come straight back here in the next episode, so that's okay. We know where it is. Um, we don't really want to miss anything, even though we're going to come back to Kakariko Village. Oh, look! Three towers! Whoa! Okay, I was really hoping for some fairies. Um, doesn't look like there's going to be any. Can this can this heal us? Okay, maybe the fairies don't come out when it's raining either. <laughs> Thought I saw something. Okay, we made it back to the village. I'm sure there was a rest. I'm sure we read it somewhere. I thought that was the only book in the in the village though. That is scary. That's obviously where the kind of the, oh no, there it is. Oh. One so that must be the castle. Glow-in-the-dark mushroom. Oh yes, this shrine. Disturbed us while we were trying to hunt. Yes, keep shooting arrows so we can take them. <laughs> Just doing some collecting. Um. Okay, so much here. But we definitely need to get that ball from the shrine over to here, don't we? But 
Ah, it won't let us move it. Oh no! <laughs> uh, that Shiga heirloom has been guarded by a tribe for generations. I must request that you do not touch it. Even an esteemed guest such as yourself, there are certain rules that must be respected. How do we move it? It definitely goes there. Definitely. Okay, let's reread these just to be sure. Journal of Various uh, Worries. Well, my wife left me today, the last thing she said to me was, what more important than cuckoos or me? I chose the cuckoos. <laughs> Brutal. A painter unfamiliar with any of us has arrived in the village. He claims to search the great fairy fountain uh, that's been near uh, near where the village spirit protect uh, resides. He must make sure the outsider doesn't learn of the location of the fountain or the two shrines near it. So there's two, there is a second shrine, so it must be that. And the new guy in town looks like he really knows how to tune a bow. I hope he comes by and knocks an arrow. Oh, we, yes, we could stock up on some arrows. Uh, day in, day out, I'm outside barking people into the shop. I don't mind really, it's good money and busy uh, myself helps to numb the pain. <laughs> but the only thing that really helps me feel better is walking among the fireflies. Unfortunately, we've now been asked to not walk around at night because it's dangerous. I don't know how I can cope with all the fireflies. Uh, the precious heirloom that has been passed down through the family for generations. Recently, I've begun to hear voices telling me that the heirloom has an important destiny. It's going to happen soon. It makes me nervous, but I can feel it in my bones. Um, okay, so we're pretty much at the... We've read all the, the entries. So where... I'm sure I read that. Or, may, or did I read it in the comments? Maybe I read it in the YouTube comments. <laughs> uh, okay, where's the arrow shop? Um... These are not the arrow shop. So we need more. Um... We also need more. Um... Totally losing my trail of thought. Spirit orbs, that's what I'm thinking. We need more spirit orbs. Oh no! Horsey, what are you doing? You're stuck. How did you get down here? Oh dear, a <laughs> poor horse! I guess we'll just have to hope it spawns somewhere else. Uh, it's getting late, I should head home. Oh, okay. Oh, I don't know that, I'm gonna have to Google it. I'm sure there was something here about a recipe. When I was young, I worked out morning, noon, and night, but lately my old age has caught up with me. If you'd like more sword lessons, come back tomorrow night. Okay. I can't even find a bow and arrow shop. Oh, it is this shop. <laughs> hey, ooh, fire arrows, yeah. Um, we'll take all of them. There we go. 
Um, and what are these? Just normal arrows. Okay, so we can take... Um, yeah. There we go. Thank you. Oh, we don't have enough rupees. What? How much are they? Oh, 80. Wow. Oh, wait. Are they bomb arrows? No, fire arrows. Okay. That's okay. We can make do with... Um... Oh, we've got some bomb arrows. We're missing electric arrows. Arrows. Okay, so it's, it's daytime again and we're safely at Kakariko Village. We know where we're heading. We're heading to the... Um, the gate with the mountain behind it. So we found it. So we'll head straight there in the next episode. But there's definitely something about a recipe and getting a, uh, a cold with resistant item of clothing or a piece of equipment or something like that. So I'll double check and hopefully we'll be able to do that next episode. But but yeah, hopefully you're still enjoying this series. Um, we're just taking it slow. I'm guessing by episode 50, most Let's Plays are probably well into the game. We, we just really like to... Um, oh, there's another Korok. We really like to just take our time, explore, find all the secrets, basically. Especially the Koroks are really cool. Oh, it didn't work. Let's see, can we jump backwards? It's hard to jump in. Oh, we drowned! <laughs> we drowned, but we found a Korok seed! Bye-bye! That was... That was weird. That was not the intention. We should stick to the ice method, which is what we know best. But at least we found a Korok. But yes, yeah, so we've made it to um, Kakariko Village. We, we know where we're heading, but we've just got a couple of things to do in this village, which hopefully we'll find out what they are, and we'll do it in the next episode. But I hope you're enjoying it. I hope you don't mind the slow-paced exploring side of things. Um, but yeah, um, thanks for watching. Thank you to, of course, the channel members, and I'll see you next time. Bye!